Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So a few months ago, the Sega Fairies, yes, that is their official designation, as deemed by me, got in touch and said, hey, we want to send you something for Sonic's 30th anniversary. We're not sure if it will get to you for Sonic's 30th, but it will be very, very close. Oh! Naturally, I was quite intrigued by this, so I said, of course, feel free to mail me something. So I sat by the mailbox and waited. I was waiting a while. Well, today, along with the rest of the post, a rather large box turned up. And here it is! Here is what they actually sent me, and look at the size of this thing! So, what exactly is in the box? Well... What is this magical surprise? Let's go and find out. So, what's in the box? Well, assuming you're one of the few people who hasn't yet read the video title, the description, or seen the thumbnail, and is here through only the use of your psychic powers, what is in this box? It's the 30th anniversary Sonic the Hedgehog statue! Ha ha! How many of you thought it was actually in the box? That's your expectation. No, really, this is the new 30th anniversary Sonic the Hedgehog statue, or diorama as they're also calling it. And I can't believe this. The Sega Fairies decided that one of the best people in the world to get an early look at this is me! Me. So whilst I could just sit here in front of the camera occasionally going, Ooh, this is nice! Due to how amazingly detailed and special this statue actually is, we need to do something a little bit different. So, much like the doctor who calls your dad every 18 months and says, Hey, we need to examine your pee-pee! We need to take a closer look at this. So before we get too far into this, if you are interested in picking this up, you can order from the Sega shop, and yes, there's even some options for worldwide delivery! Links to both are in the video description. First of all, let's actually take a look at the packaging, because Sonic stuff always turns up in really nice packaging, and this one is no exception. It's actually quite a nice presentation. We have the Sonic logo, along with the 30th anniversary banner, and it uses different screenshots from loads of Sonic games over the past 30 years. We've also got shots of the statue from different angles around the side of the box, inside a giant golden ring. And the 30th anniversary logo is right there, so you know that this is 30th merch now. It's a pretty nice design, but let's take a look at what's inside. The statue itself comes in a plastic clamshell, which is pretty easy to open, and the statue is fully intact, utterly no assembly is required. And what a scene this statue depicts. We've got classic Sonic being chased by Eggman in the Wrecking Ball Egomatic. I don't think there's ever been a statue like this, certainly nothing that depicts a boss battle, and this one looks really nice. There's even an invincibility item box hidden inside the palm tree, it's a really nice bit of detail. And speaking of the detail, it's really impressive. I want to start with Eggman because I think he's the best part of this statue by a long way. He looks fantastic! His expression is great, he just looks so sinister, he looks like he's finally going to cross Sonic! With the angle of the Egomatic and Eggman sort of leaning over, it looks like he's actually looking down onto Sonic. And if you position this high up and look at it, Eggman looks really menacing. And there's so many cool bits of detail on Eggman, like how you can see each of his individual fingers clutching the controls, and his cape is actually floating in the wind. It gives a great sense of movement as Eggman flies through the air after Sonic. And there's no errors or paint blemishes that I can make out. It's done to a very high standard. Even the light reflections in his glasses don't have any problems. I'm really impressed with how Eggman has turned out. So let's now turn our attention to Sonic. And in terms of quality, Sonic is fine. Like with Eggman, I couldn't see any paint errors or blemishes on him. I also quite like his expression. He looks really serious, as if he knows that he's in mortal danger right now, trying to get out of there. Which means that this statue is actually the first piece of Sonic merchandise that actually depicts Eggman about to win! I'm serious with that. Most Sonic statues and dioramas depict Sonic posing triumphantly or in some kind of victory celebration. But not this one! In this statue, 
he's about to lose. That's something we don't see very often in Sonic merch. So as amazing as this statue looks, and let's be honest here, that's why we buy these, there is something that you should know. The statue is very, very light. Yeah, it's actually made of a very lightweight plastic, and that means you can do things like this! So when I wrote that in the script, the idea was, right now I do something really funny to try and show you guys just how lightweight this statue actually is, but um... I'm very tired and I can't think of anything, so um... Ooh, one handed! Ooh. And unfortunately, it also means that some parts of the scenery do feel very fragile. Like the totem pole, for instance, it does feel very frail. But the most fragile part of the statue by a long way are the leaves in the palm tree. In fact, this leaf in particular, I feel like I could just snap it off if I wanted to. I am not going to snap it off. So this statue has clearly been designed and made with materials to try and keep the costs down, yet still look amazing enough to compete with other high-end Sonic statues. And to be fair, with some of these higher-end statues now costing over 500 pounds just for a standard character doing a pose, this statue is only 70 pounds. Yet it has multiple characters, depicts an action scene, and when you actually have it in a display case or sat up on a shelf, it looks bloody awesome. Honestly, if you can make a statue that isn't using the finest of materials or ceramics which can reflect light and create the illusion of running water, yet still somehow look this good, why are not more companies doing this? Seriously, I find myself saying this every single time I do a merch video like this. You don't have to use ultra high expensive materials to make incredible looking statues, which as a consequence are much more affordable. I will gladly buy something like this every single time if it looks as good, and in some cases this looks better than some of the more ridiculously expensive pieces of Sonic merch that we've had over the years. This statue is a prime example of that, and I really do hope we get more pieces from Numskull Designs like this. I really do highly recommend this statue, and like I've already said, links to pick it up are in the video description. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the 30th anniversary Sonic statue, and a huge thank you goes out to the Sega shop, and if you are interested in picking this one up guys, and I highly encourage it, it's a brilliant statue, links to do so are down there in the video description. Anyway, Thank you to the Sega shop for sending it my way, it arrived just slightly after Sonic's actual 30th anniversary, along with this letter from my doctors, so let's see what they've got to say for themselves. Dear Mr Mechanic, Can you believe it's been 18 months since the last time we saw you? We'd like you to make an appointment as we need you to come in so we can take a close look at your pee pee! Oh son of a bitch! What's inside it? Well... A reflected light. <laughs> it's a light reflection, that's what they sent. And here it is! Here is what they actually sent me, and this thing is big! So that's, don't say that. No. No. Do not say that. <laughs> Nearly fell over. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh. Hey, stop that. Hello, pussy cat. No, 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 you can't. Oh, god. Did anyone else spot that Finley was asleep in the background of that shot? Every damn time. <laughs>